I'm your Deputy Head Boy of 2024. And I'm Anna Hamilton, your Deputy Head Girl of 2024. We are super excited to welcome you to our family next year and keen to see the growth of the learners of the years to come. Watching this video will help inform you about what to expect for the next year ahead. If you require any more information, please visit our website as everything you need to know is on there. And then for the parents, we will be having a parent evening in January where you'll be able to find out about what this next year holds. See, See you, you next, next year! year. In the first week, the graders will run around campus and figure out how school works. There aren't any school books or uniform, just your PE kids. Lucky for you, grade 8, that means absolutely no work during the school. Yay! During this week, make sure to bring some sunscreen, a water bottle, and of course, yourselves. Because we'll do tons of activities that are having loads of fun. And after this week, we'll head off on our grade orientation camp. This camp is a big opportunity for you to grow as a grade and develop a new friendship which will last throughout the rest of your high school career. So it's very important to come on this camp. Come with us as we see what a great place looks like. So now we'll be going into one of our grade 8 drama classes where Mrs. Jacobs is teaching me about spoken word. Take a look around. Our grade 8s are very studious. We are so excited to venture the new 2024 year with you. We can't wait to meet you. Enjoy the rest of your holidays. Bye! Good day, my name is Chanel Bester. I'm the Head of Leadership at Kira Hillcrest. But today I'm speaking to you as a mom, as a parent. So I've got one or two guidelines, specifically on the administrative side, to help you along and just make it a little bit easier and smooth for you. So first up, the uniforms. You need to order uniforms. The online website that they've got, My Hub, is very easy to use. It's not take a lot. Go on a tab that says Crit. That's the only thing that you need to remember, maybe write down G R I T. And on there, you will find everything you need. My advice to you is make sure you watch the videos on measuring your child. Get those right. The videos are excellent, and I've used it. And in the eight years that I've been ordering from Grit, I have not gotten it wrong once. So please take the time and measure properly. Secondly, regarding your child's blazer, they're only going to need it at the end of March. But my advice again is order it now in November. The last two years they ran out of stock with their blazers within January and February. So best do it now. And also the delivery is still between three to four days now within November, as soon as they get busy in December and January, it slows down. If you've got any returns, so let's say something is wrong, the delivery will then be charged. Normally it's for free, but if it needs to be returned back to them and they send it to you once again, there will be a charge on that. And then the second thing and the last thing is our code of conduct. Our set of rules for the school is posted on our D6. And we also have something that is a shorter version, a summary called the window of safety. The learners will be studying that in detail next year. If you go to this window of safety, you'll get a clear guide on what is and isn't allowed at our school. Hello, Hello everyone. everyone. My name is Amani Rembe. My name is Amma Dawu. My name is Banele Masugu. And we're here to speak about the Kira Hillcrest school uniform. As Kira Hillcrest students, we take pride in our school uniform and soon you will become members of the school. Therefore, you also represent our school. So, boys uniform. Here at Kira Hillcrest High, we take pride in our uniform, meaning that our hair cannot be longer than the length of six centimeters. There's some compulsory stuff that you have to wear, which includes navy blue socks and a Cura Hillcrest High branded belt every day to school. Our uniform is split into two components, summer and winter. In the winter, it is compulsory to wear a tie and in summer, it is optional. So the girls' uniform was also split into two components, the summer uniform and the winter uniform. For our winter uniform, we are required to wear long navy socks, which are folded twice just below the knee. They may not be rolled down, and you are also allowed to wear long navy stockings. For summer uniform, you are required to wear white socks. You do not roll them down, you fold them twice. Now the skirt length, a huge topic for the girls. Skirts have to be 10 centimeters, nothing shorter than 10 centimeters, right above the knee. And trust me, 
we measure. Next up, we have the blazers. You are required to have all your buttons from here to here. And you are required to wear your blazers at every formal event and assembly every Friday. The second difference between the summer uniform and winter uniform is the mandatory ties. Ties are to be worn every single day during winter. And when you wear your ties, you have to make sure that the button at the top is buttoned before placing your tie on top of it. Luckily, during summer, we do not have to wear our ties. Next up, we have another major issue for girls, and that is makeup. Girls, you are not allowed to wear makeup to school, only during serious days, but you may refer to the window of safety for more information on that. Next up, we have accessories. Both girls and boys are not allowed to wear bracelets, rings, necklaces, and for earrings, you are allowed to wear hoops, small hoops, and studs. Next, we have hair. Girls, you may not wear hair that is different to your natural hair color. If you have braids or extensions in your hair, you have to match the, now your natural hair color. As you can see here, Vanele has black braids and I have brown because my natural hair color is a lighter shade. No highlighters in your hair as well as no dye in your hair. Natural hair only. Refer to the window of safety for more information. We're, We're very excited, excited to see you. Bye! Bye. most interesting topic, academics. Our school works with a digital platform called Microsoft Teams to communicate with each other. It's an easy way to contact your teachers and get daily notices such as timetables, batting lists and assessment calendars. All great specific assessment calendars will be posted on Teams every term. It will entail formal and informal assessments for every subject that you take for the term. Luckily for grade eights, all your subjects are semesterized, so you will have your first four or five core subjects such as maths, English, and first traditional language, which includes Isi Zulu or Afrikaans, and the remainder will be semesterized subjects that you will split between the first six months and the last six months of the year. And for all students who want to improve the results or overall abilities, we offer extra lessons. For extra lessons for core subjects, they are offered on a weekly basis, and for elective subjects, we are offered on a appointment basis. We also offer peer tutoring, where our students will be appointed with a tutor to help them improve their subjects that they are struggling with. Hi guys, I'm Rebecca Fitzy and I will be your Head of Culture for 2024. At Karahokus, we offer many culture events where we really encourage all learners to participate in. First off, we have our big event, Kara Create, which is an inter school event showcasing all talents relating to the performing arts. We also have our school play. We have culture Kersney where we take a, take a dance and perform it at Kersney. We have our choir, we have forum discussion, and we have our awesome marimba bands. Hope to see you on stage. Hello, my name is Hannah Pulliot. Hello, my name is Sia Bengu. And we are so excited to be your sport heads of 2024. At the school, we offer a variety, a plethora of sports. Firstly, we have swimming, running, cheerleading, and chess. Come along with me as I show you our other sports. First off, we have basketball, we have rugby and touch rugby, we have tennis, we have cricket, we have netball, water polo, soccer, and finally, we have hockey. In the school, we love team spirit and competitiveness. That is why we have the inter-house events. We have three houses. Falcon, the green house. Marshall, the red house. And Osprey, the yellow house. Within the sporting department, we have three inter-house events. Our inter-house swimming, our inter-house athletics, as well as our inter-house sports. For our culture department, we have inter-house play and inter-house music and dance. And my name is Ethan Mundi, and I'll be the head boy for 2024. We are super excited for the year ahead. Our goal as a school is to create and nurture meaningful relationships that will help grow our current Hillcrest family and develop skills and qualities that will last a lifetime. There are many things that you can look forward to in your grade 8 year. Your grade 8 camp, orientation week, cultural and sporting events, and my personal favourite, the bell ringing ceremony. Some of the core values of our school are humility, integrity, passion, 
discipline and servant leadership. We aim to instill these qualities in and amongst the learners within our school. We want every single grader learner to feel proud to be part of our school and to feel like they belong. Because when someone feels welcome, they have a desire to pursue greatness, the greatness that lies within them, as we are all designed for greatness. So enjoy your holidays and get ready for a year filled with excitement, growth and special memories. We can't wait to meet every single one of you next year.